Welcome to another virtual reality episode from Own or Disown. And today we're going to take a look at to see whether um, somebody with a, a lower end computer or uh, perhaps a uh, laptop even can uh, enjoy virtual reality games. Uh, many people can't afford to uh, invest in a new desktop PC to play these games and it would be a shame for them to miss out. Now HTC and Oculus both ask that the uh, minimum GPU should be a GTX 970 or an R290 from uh, AMD and on the CPU side an i5-4590 or an FX8350 with 4 gigs of RAM. Well, I had uh, lying around an Alienware 15 laptop with a, uh, a Core i7-4710HQ 470, I mean, uh, CPU and a GTX 980M graphics card. This is uh, running pretty similar to a GTX 7, uh, 780 um, desktop GPU, perhaps slightly below it. Perhaps uh, you know, in between the 770 and the 780. So let's uh, see how we get on and uh, see if it will play these VR games. First up is the game Hollow Point. Now Hollow Point, as I'm sure you've seen in uh, my video review of the game, is a very active game requiring a lot of quick motion from side to side, looking up and down. And uh, if there's going to be any flaws in the, uh, the frames per second, you're going to notice on this. On the plus side for the game, it's not a graphically intensive game. It's fairly basic, gets the job done well, no doubt, but uh, it's uh, not super intensive. And must admit, playing this game with the uh, Alienware laptop, I experienced no jittering at all. Frames per second were smooth, and in fact, if no one had told me I was playing on a laptop, I thought I would have been playing on my desktop with a GTX 980 Ti. I noticed no difference at all. So. If you have a laptop, you want to play this game, go ahead for it. You can do it. Next up is the terrifying zombie game called Horde Z. This is an excellent game which I haven't done a review on it, but I will do shortly. And it uh, is a quite a graphically intensive game, so let's see how this one gets on. Horde Z is a pulsating action game. It uh, uses room scale really well, a 4x5 feet. And uh, there's a lot of quick action going on, lots of blood splatting everywhere, lots of bullets and lots of explosions. Your head's moving around, your guns are moving around fast. And you know what? It was smooth as butter. No problem at all. I could not tell any difference from uh, playing uh, this game on my uh, desktop or the laptop. So, once again, if you have a laptop at, uh, with a, a 980M graphics card, go for it. This game is fun to play. I recommend it 100%. The third game on our test is the uh, NVIDIA Tech Demo Funhouse. This is a, a very tough game for graphics cards. In fact, NVIDIA recommend a GTX 1080 and SLI to run it at uh, its very highest settings. So uh, let's uh, have a go and uh, see how it gets on with our lowly 980M graphics card then. The NVIDIA VR Funhouse uses uh, state-of-the-art graphics to blend seamlessly uh, special effects using NVIDIA's Gameworks, uh, NVIDIA PhysX, uh, NVIDIA Hairworks, NVIDIA Flow, NVIDIA Flex and NVIDIA Destruction, which all take a toll on the, on the graphics card. Now when I start a game here, you know, moving your head side to side, I do see quite a bit of jitter. Um, moving my head uh, up and down. Oh, yep, I see a lot of jitter there too. Uh, but, you know, it's still playable. I can still pick up the ball. I can still throw things around. Um, the uh, the physics here seems to be, you know, working fine. I, of course, I suck at uh, hitting balls and things, but uh, there you go. Um, but all in all, you know, I it's playable. Um, I wouldn't say it's, 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 it's bad by any means. And this is with my uh, 980M. Um, so, uh, wow. Look at that. So I'll tell you what, let's hit this, uh, I think that says settings. So, low settings, they recommend a GTX 1060. Now, moving my head side to side, I, I, I honestly do not see any jitter at all. It's smooth as can be, that's perfect. Perfect. Let's have a look at medium. Now for medium, they recommend a GTX 1080. 
Now there is a bit of jitter there moving from side to side and it's a little bit blurry, I suppose. Um, image quality is not that much better, I don't think, but certainly there is a slight jitter there. Yeah. But it's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, the board dash says what you, the specifications need to be. Let's have a look at uh, at high. Yep, yeah, high. There certainly is a bit more jitter there than uh, before. I'd recommend playing this at low, um, but uh, you know, at the grow low graphic settings, the physics still worked. Everything's still good. So to conclude here, using a uh, laptop 980M, don't be put off with this game. You can play this at the uh, the lower settings perfectly fine the fourth and final game in our test is uh, a game called raw data by servios this must be one of the most demanding games i've played on uh, my hdc vive so this would be a good test for my uh, laptop so let's have a look at it now first off i'd like to apologize the camera recording my laptop stopped working here but um, just to let you know that uh, certainly there's a lot of jitter Hello. here with using my, my uh, laptop. It is my um, distinct pleasure to introduce both sideways, to up and down. It is pretty, pretty bad. Keep your head still. Perfectly fine. We seek you know, but this is an action price. game. This game is fast. You do need to move around quite a bit. Look all over the place, and it is off-putting. And uh, you certainly, it's not playable. I mean, you can play. But you know it sucks. Um, it's a little blurry Any when I'm picking uh, this thing up What's here to uh, shove it in, so it's all up. Nice job. Yeah, it is all quite uh, quite off putting. But uh, you know you can stomach it. You uh, certainly develop, uh, as we call it, VR legs when you uh, you're playing these games. And uh, but still, it's, 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 if you haven't played this game, it's enjoyable. It's scary. I mean, look at this guy coming here. He's like the Terminator, isn't he? But uh, yeah, certainly I think uh, I don't think there's any laptop uh, could play this. Perhaps if you uh, have uh, a 980M and SLI, you might be able to do it. I'm expecting here about 30 frames a second um, at best. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's coming at me! No! He's, he can't get through there, can he? Surely not. No. So to conclude, if you have a high-end laptop and want to get into virtual reality, just go ahead and take the leap. Ignore the specs that they, uh, they're throwing at you. You can play most of these games. I would say 80% of the games are playable with the 980M. Go for it. You'll never look back. And uh, if you like this uh, video, please like and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.